Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. So, do a bit of admin up front here, I've actually recorded this video a couple of times but I've had some real problems with the audio and the microphone, I think it's dying a death. So I've got lots of footage but no sound. So, as you can see below, I shot all this before um, and then when I came to edit it obviously there was nothing there. So I'll just talk you through what we've been on about. So basically, I have been having a problem with my discus tank. So here you can see a little bit of the problem. I've got blackbeard algae all over the rocks, over a lot of the plants. I've tried just about every treatment under the sun, trying to get rid of it. We've tried upping the CO2, dropping the CO2, keeping the CO2 stable for as long as possible, adding some algae treatments. Um, taking stuff out and using hydrogen peroxide, but that's just not viable when it, the problem's this bad. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of everywhere. Over the rocks. I mean, if I was meaning to do it, it kind of looks cool on the rocks, but it's suffocating all the plants. So, we want rid. And I need somebody to help me out. Um, so that's my main display tank, um, you've seen it before, it's a blackbeard algae problem. It's been a problem for the best part of a year, if not longer, um, and it's just been slowly getting worse rather than better. I've been trying everything I can think of, um, from hydrogen peroxide, specific algae treatments, trying to balance the tank, uh, I did have a bit of a phosphate issue so we got that down, but no nothing actually has helped. Um, so I've had to do what I really don't like doing and I would never advise doing is I've, I've bought a fish to do a job. Uh, luckily the fish that I've got are actually quite cool and I really like them so hopefully they can be a good addition to the tank as well as just doing this job. So while I would normally try to get the tank uh, balanced and healthy using um, the natural methods or just getting the, the parameters all where they should be, everything's failed so far so I've had to bite the bullet and I've seen a few videos online um, talking about a specific fish that does really good work with black beard algae and that was the silver flying foxes. So it's a fish I've never kept before um, but I have kept other variants. I've kept normal flying foxes, uh, Siamese algae eaters which are often confused. I've kept them with my discus before so hopefully we won't have any problems with these ones uh, and like you'll see in a minute I think they do actually look quite cool. So I've got these fish from Tropco. Uh, Tropco is a company here in the UK that I've used before um, I was really happy with them. I got my Celestial Pearl Daniels from there and I didn't even actually realise this at the time but I actually bought some more CPDs so I've got some babies of them as well. Um, so we've had all the fish out, uh, the delivery went fine, the unboxing went fine just silently. Um, you might be seeing that down below now. Uh, but we got the fish out, we put them into a quarantine tank downstairs roughly for about a week um, and then got them into the big tank next door. So we'll skip through all that and go and have a look and see where we're at. So there's the, the CPDs, Celestial Pearl Daniels. Quite a lot smaller than the other fish that are in here. But from the same place, I think I got these from Tropco as well. Um, I've got four of these ones, the adults, that you can see here. And I've bought another three just to make a bigger group. Um, you may have seen in previous videos I've mentioned wanting to breed these guys. So I just wanted to get a few more in there. I don't think we'll have any issues but with these being a lot younger and a lot smaller. But obviously I've got this little breeder box. I can, I can leave them in there to grow them out a little bit if it becomes an issue. So there we go. I'll put them in the little breeding box for now. As you can see they're pretty small. To be honest, I've just looked at the footage of when I bought the other ones. They're actually a lot bigger than the other ones when I got them. But nevertheless, still small. And hard to focus. There we go. Uh, and extremely skittish. Um, they've been in there a couple of hours and they're just hiding away mostly. So. I'll leave them in there for a wee while, make sure they're feeding well. One of them looks quite thin. But yeah, leave them in there for a while and then we'll put them in with the big boys. 
These guys down here. Put it up. And they've all decided to hide from me now. But look at those colours. Definitely want more of these guys. So hopefully with another three, that's four in there all together, quick maths. Tells me that'll be seven. Hopefully one of them will be a female and we'll get some breeding action. Right, looks like I cocked up that last bit a little bit so you didn't get to see me adding the fish. But we'll just quickly go over that again. I've had them downstairs in the fish room for like a week, just over a week. Um, everything seems fine. I probably should have kept them in there a little bit longer but I wanted to get them to work. So we've added them in here and as you can see they've brightened up quite a bit since we last saw them. I've only been watching them for maybe 10 minutes in this tank. I haven't necessarily seen them going anywhere near any of the blackbeard algae yet. But I guess they're just getting settled in. So if we call this day one, just have a quick run through the tank. As you can see, still got the majority of the algae. I have been going through, picking this off with my hands where I can, cutting off dead leaves. I'm scraping rocks a little bit, but this is day one. This is the level of algae. And it's specifically, it's the blackbeard algae that I'm looking for these guys to go to town on. So we'll see how they got on. They're actually quite social fish. They're schooling quite well. Um, the <laughs> there's a black ghost knife fish scaring the bejesus out of them. But yeah, they look pretty cool. I think they're going to be a nice addition to the tank, regardless of how well they do as a clean-up crew. But, primarily that is their job, they're here to do some jobs. Let's see how they get on. So, here we go. Day one. Oh yeah, and as you might have noticed, we've got all the discus from downstairs are back up here. Um, Looking fine and handsome. Let's check back in in a couple of days. Okay, so this is day four, I believe. If we can zoom in very quickly. Oh, no, just missed it. But that's one of the fish there. And he was actually munching on some algae there. There you go. So they have started, the rest of them are over here, again having a little munch there. And I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I'll hopefully I'll have a look at the footage afterwards and I think they are starting to make a dent. But like I've said a few times now, they're also quite cool looking fish. They're really playful, um, they're definitely interacting with each other, lots of squabbling going on. Yeah, a nice little fish. Very distinctive markings with that thing on the tail there. So you can see there, there's a bit of blackbeard algae down there that even if they haven't eaten it all, they are certainly starting to pull it off the rocks. But if we go through like we did the other day, you can see there's still quite a lot over here. But I think that's gone down slightly. That rock there looks as if it's been cleaned a little bit, as does that one, as do some of the plants. So I think we're starting to see a difference. That glass is really dirty, it needs a clean. So they've been in four days now. I think they're starting to make a dent definitely, but it is quite a big tank, so it's gonna take them a while to get through everything. Uh, but at least they'll be cheap to feed for that time. <laughs> so that's it, I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it might be something that you can consider yourself if you're having similar sort of problems. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I think they're fantastic little fish. So hopefully they will grow, um, they do get a little bit bigger than this obviously because these are just juveniles. So I think when they grow into it, they'll be a really fantastic addition to this tank. But as always, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!